How's it going, guys? Gabe here from RC Cincy, and I'm really excited about this unboxing. Um, I've actually been really patient. Um, I was going to buy a really nice um, aerial um, drone or photography drone um, that I can use for a new channel that I'm probably going to start. And I started not a company, but kind of a small business. Um, it's not going to really pay the bills in the sense that, you know, I'm going to quit my job and do it, but I would love to do it on the side, you know, when I can. Um, you know, it's not going to be pricey. I'm not going to be the best. Obviously, I'm inexperienced, but I want to kind of get into that. So um, I've, I've been looking around at drones for a while. I looked at the, uh, the Breeze 4K. I looked at a couple other drones, a Patriot one. I think it's Patriot, or I forget what that brand is. Um, I like the DJI. Um, Maverick was a little bit more than I wanted to spend. I probably, you know, if I wanted to chase a full-time career or make it a career or make it, you know, more serious, probably should have got something along the lines of that. But just to be honest with you, what I want to start out doing, plus I wanted a smaller drone. I didn't want a big drone. Uh, I felt like this would be the best uh, possible um, product, in my opinion. Um, I know when this came out, it was pretty expensive. The fly more combo was six ninety nine or something when it first came out or something like that. Um, I don't know what they are now. I know you can get just a drone from like different stores and retailers for, I think like three ninety nine. They have a lot of different specials and a lot of different sales. And I'm going to tell you about this one in particular. I was able to save quite a bit of money. I don't know if it's the best deal. I'm sure you could find better deals, but in my opinion, um, I was looking at drones. I went to Walmart first, saw it there. I uh, couldn't remember what package it was. It was it might have been the standard uh, DJI um, package. Um, so basically, I saw it. I'm like, well, I'm going to look at a couple more stores. I went to Best Buy, and I realized they have the price match guarantee, which will give you... Um, the best possible price essentially but if it's a you know major store or you know major retailer you know not like some website or something so this was 399 okay let's move this out of the way this right here was 399 dollars on a sticker but since he told me he can do a price match walmart had it for 350 349.99 obviously taxes is going to be more but uh and I was like, wow, that's a really good deal. And he said that if I buy this, they had a, uh, a special or a combo or something, that you would get this $119 controller for free. So I could not pass that. Number one, it was cheaper than when it was launched, I do believe. Uh, it's a great product. $50 cheaper than what most retailers are selling it for. Then you throw a hundred and nineteen dollar controller in for free, so I paid three forty nine ninety nine plus tax. Taxes on a uh, three hundred, I think, is like twenty one plus enough. So it was, I paid maybe twenty five or twenty six bucks on top of the three fifty. So I paid like three seventy eight, three seventy nine, something around that range. So it just. That's just math, math on my head. It might not be exact. I apologize. I'll maybe post something at the bottom, the exact price, of what everything costs, what taxes and everything. And I just couldn't believe that you get this good of a product, this nice of a product, for that cheap. So I'm just giving you a little background on how I purchased it and why I purchased this. Um, this is just going to initially be an unboxing, initial thoughts. I'm going to do an in-depth um, setup. Then I'm going to do an in-depth flight and then I'm going to start just shooting videos and post them on, on this channel as well. And then uh, I started an Instagram. It's called Unk and Nephi um, Photography. Towards the end, I might run in the other room and grab the shirt. I actually have some shirts made. I am still making RC Cincy shirts. But she actually did that to surprise me. So I was telling you, telling her how I wanted shirts and you know, just kind of started out. I knew I wasn't going to get a bunch of customers or blow up or anything. I just wanted to do it for family and friends and a few people that asked, you know, for me to do it. Um, so let's go ahead and just initially start with the box. Sorry, and there's the camera for the DJI Spark uh, unboxing. 
Let me see if I get this light just a little bit more this way. Mm. Trying to mess with the lighting a little bit. Okay, we'll just go with that. So there's the box. Uh, it does have a seal. You have to cut right here so you know if someone opened it. On the back, it does have your uh, serial number, information about it, tells you do's and don'ts, the apps, a little QR code there, DJ on the side. Nothing too fancy of a box. It looks clean is what I like. Slide that open. First thing you gotta do is slide this box out, which is, sorry, it's a little tight in there. In this case, slide this out, and then I'm gonna slide the other box out. So these are the two boxes you get. We'll set this off to the side for now with this. Um, let's go ahead and open this box first. This is a, your accessory box now. I actually packaged it a little different. So I'm just gonna slide out, you get all the manuals. You get one, two, three different manuals. Um, it's got your quick start guide, your intelligent flight battery and safety guidelines, and then the actual one for the spark. Just disclaimers and uh, guidelines. The instructions, honestly, are a little confusing and they weren't that good. My best advice to you is to watch a video. Now, the cable I came up, that came, that came with it was wrapped up nicely in there. I just went ahead and took them out. Um, I like to keep everything in this box right here until I get a bigger carrying case. So let's set this to the side. Get another little band that just shows you uh, what does it say? DJI, uh, DJI Care Refresh Keep Flying. It says uh, Express Replacement, Water Damage Coverage, um, Prioritize Service, and Free Shipping. So I guess... I don't know, you can do something like that for them. Now this is a hardened, uh, like a foam with a coating on it. it says DJI right here. Um, this one you'll see some of them where it's kind of like popcorned right here in the mold. Let's see if it's anywhere. Uh, not really there. It kind of to do it right here. See, that's kind of popcorn and flaky. And that's a quality control issue. Uh, it does have your uh, Wi-Fi description of it spark um mine's 49a for uh bd and then it has my password right there which i don't mind it's not like you guys are gonna do anything with it then it has a shell number you just simply pop this open now normally the charger the wire is in the other package that i was showing you i stuck it in here because this is exactly what I'm gonna take with me. So it just makes it easier. I only have to take this case. I don't have to take that box, all this right here. You know, I do keep the controller in this box though. I usually take the sleeve off because I don't want it damaged. So I just take this and this. That can fit in any small bag. So back to it, um, you get, first thing you get is two sets of props. These are really easy to use. You pop one out. This is a, I think like a push and twist method and these little hooks right there, hook into it, snap in. They're very simple. The props, you know, I, I open them up a little bit. Uh, some people can spin up with them like that, but I like to just open them slightly. The, the force will stretch them out perfectly, you know, when it flies. Um, you get two of them. Now it shows you which way they turn. So you get one in each direction. So you get two replacements. Slide these together, slide them back in here. So that's nice. They give you uh, two blades, which it would have been nice to have four, but hey, I'm not complaining. Now, the Fly More package um, does actually uh, give you um, both of these areas filled in, this one and this one. So you get all four props with the Fly More, which is another reason probably I should have looked into it. But for the price and what I got, I was happy with, honestly. And then it comes with a... Uh, Charger adapter, they recommend you use this one. I don't know if it has a higher output rating or is better or what, but they say they recommend you to use this one, which I have no problem doing. And then this wire is actually important, especially if you have the remote. Um, this wire charges your drone, and you can also plug this up, depending on what phone you have, with an adapter to use for your controller. You can order the uh, wire 
which I probably should have done, but I have an Apple. I wanted to make sure it worked. Uh, they have an adapter that goes to Apple, but at the time, I, I had to order it, wait several days for it, so I just went ahead and went to Best Buy. I did spend a little more on this wire than I should have, but I have more than one use for this. This is a Lightning to USB um, data wire. It says uh, camera right there, so you can plug up to like your camera or something, move photos from the, your camera to your phone, which would be nice, and videos, so I could actually still use this. You can plug it up to pretty much to anything with this adapter, so that makes it really, really nice. So I just simply uh, stick that in there, then this wire, which is probably the best thing for it, push it in there, and it stays in there, and it fits perfectly. So... Um, it can hold two batteries, obviously, and one on the drone, which is nice. So this case can hold a lot, quite a bit of stuff. Now, let's go ahead and get into the drone itself. Uh, these, obviously, I like to open them up just a little bit, and then they will adjust. It's just they're really tight when they're together. They say that it'll, you know, open up on its own, but um, I just go ahead and do that. So there it is. It's a smooth uh, white it doesn't feel cheap at all. It's really, really heavy. Um, it's a significant size. It isn't that big. Um, my palm of my hand will completely cover it. The arms stick out a little folder. It would have been nice to see the arms fold, but you know what DJI is going to do. They're just going to feature it in the next one or the one above it. So this does have a fan built in for cooling. Um, it has front sensors that you can use for the gestures and optical, uh, not optical, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, object, uh, whenever you don't hit an object. So it's um, object detect detection or something, avoidance. So you can like basically, um, if you're flying and you're coming up on a building, you get too close, it'll actually beep and tell you and some, and it can stop if you enable that, of course, um, which is really nice. Keep you from running anything. Say you're going underneath something or something or you're going by an object and you want to get and you happen to get too close. So you kind of drift into it. It'll beep warn you. And if you have it on, it'll kind of stop and back up even if you have backwards mode on. Um, that's pretty cool. What else? Slide this battery off of here for now. Uh, without the battery, it's pretty light, uh, but the battery does have a significant amount of weight. It also inside, underneath the battery, it does have your uh, the signal, your spark name, uh, and the password underneath there. Uh, these are a little hard, not hard, they're kind of soft, but hard enough to where it can, you know, press on and it won't fold over. Those are actually your feet. You have them on a battery as well. Those four little connectors right there is for your uh, multi-charger uh, for multiple batteries, which I'd recommend getting. Um, you have two sensors there. One is for detecting where the ground is, and the other one is, I think, for height or elevation or something. So they're both sensors to let you know when you're approaching the ground, or let, and it helps it also stay kind of stable, too. Not only does it use the GPS, but if it has a visual of the down of the of the grade below it can see if it's moving or not so it can kind of help it balance out and then another one probably for optical detection as well or when you're going to land it helps it kind of see how far it is from the ground and adjust its speed so that's really really nice um you have your uh two axis gimbal obviously i would love to see a three axis but that's something they're probably going to include in the next version or newer version which i'm sure they're going to do uh, the gimbal, when it's on, powered on, try not to move this or press on it or hit this. This is probably the thing that's going to get damaged the easiest. So be very careful with the lenses. Try not to put any smudges or fingers or anything on it, scratches. Just be really, really careful with this. Um, so they do make lens covers, which I might get one. They make also a hood, which will keep sunlight and everything from coming kind of from the top and blinding your uh, shot or uh, making it too bright, um, what else? It does not feel cheap at all. Everything feels really, really good quality. Um, underneath here, let me turn this around for you guys. You lift up the back of the, what I call the trunk or the back of the drone, pop this up. Now you have a spot where you put a micro SD card 
and where you can where you charge it unless you have the multiple charging port. If you don't, what you have to do is slide the battery on and plug the wire into here and plug it into your wall or computer or adapter outlet or whatever you may have and it charges it that way. So unfortunately, if you don't have the multiple battery charger, which you just clip these in, you have to do it that way. Um, the battery itself is not the biggest, but gives you about 10 to 13 minutes of flight time, depending on how aggressive you fly, how far, what you have enabled and what you're doing with it, and how much you know, you're know you using of it. Um, this is a, it looks like a, some, I don't have the best vision ever either. I know it's 11.4 volt battery, so it is a three cell. Let me kind of, Focus in on this, my eyes are 1480, 1480 milliamps. I gotta try to get close to it for you guys. Come on, zoom, focus. Jersey tells you it's DGI. Um, to release it, I'll go ahead and slide this battery, line it up, line the battery up, slide it in, it locks sure this is closed as well um, these two tabs what you do is you push both tabs back and pull up and it pops right out works perfectly locks in nice and tight no play or wobble these are the other two feet so it has a total of four little rubber feet um, the lights are really really bright uh, look at your manual let, that'll tell you what the lights mean uh, green and red ready to fly yellow something's going on or you're doing something in the settings it'll flash different speeds and different rates for different uh, uh, indicators so make sure you find out what indicator does what uh, I'm gonna do an in-depth setup video which I'll try to include everything I can in for it um, it's got quite a bit of weight it's just really nicely made I feel like just a really good quality drone um, you click it one time and it should show you how much battery you have, but it's dead. So to start it, you click it one time, and then while it's lit up, hold it in. So click it one, and then hold in. And the battery is dead. So, which makes sense, because I did fly it pretty, uh, I did fly it pretty low, more than I probably should have. Uh, it, it went off probably around 30% or so. Let me know that it's getting low. And then, um, it comes, starts to come back on its own around 20-something percent. You can set that. Um, I recommend leaving it higher, especially if you're going to fly further away. Uh, give yourself at least 25 to 30 percent battery to fly back. <clears throat> so you make it back. Um, the range on this thing is ridiculous. Just to give you a little bit of spec ratings, I've seen people fly this four miles away. It's real choppy, obviously cuts in and out. They got to the four mile range. It either came back on its own or they made it come back. Um, and that's just insane to me. One mile would be more than I'd probably ever do. Maybe one or two, depending what, what I'm going to shoot and how far out they want me to go or what they want me to do. Uh, it has different uh, settings on it, such as the ability to fly, um, limit. You can limit it, put it in beginner mode. It only goes so high up. Obviously, if you only have the cell phone and that's all you're using to fly it it's just basically going to limit everything it's not going to give you the same amount of range as the controller will um this gimbal the camera does move up completely straight forward and all the way facing down which is really really nice i do like that feature um it has a scrolling wheel so you can adjust how fast you go into settings adjust to that um I'd recommend, especially if you go in different areas, different uh, elevations, like if you go, you know, higher elevation, lower elevation, just different areas, do a calibration. You're just going to be, doesn't take that long to do, at least the compass and the other one as well. That, uh, I think it's IMU or something like that. I'm sorry if it's incorrect, but I would just do both quickly. It does not take long. You just set it like this, then like that like that then upside down all that and then you spin it 360 and then you spin it this way i mean it's very simple it doesn't take that long to do 
um, just do that. It would just be so much better just being calibrated to your um, to where you're at. So try not to play with that gimbal too much. I just try to leave it kind of centered in there and then try to leave it be. Um, it does not function until it has power. Uh, what else? Has a bunch of sensors on it. It's really, really smart drone. Um, obviously, you have your hand gestures. You have follow me. You can uh, select kind of similar to Wade points to select where you're going to fly at, where it's going. Um, there's just a, really a lot of options for it. Um, I'll get... I'll get, I'll be more specific. Sorry, sweetie. I'll be more specific where you, uh, with its functionality and, um, hello. <laughs> with its, uh, functionality. I accidentally locked her out. I feel so bad. Uh, with its functions and everything, I'll kind of get into that later. It just has so much to talk about. So many settings you can uh, adjust it and play with, um, the way you shoot, just everything. So we'll get into that later. This is just mainly an unboxing and initial thoughts and a little bit of uh, spec details on it. Uh, it just seems so well made. These brights are really, really light. Uh, the lights are really, really bright. Obviously, this is brushless. They're a little bit smaller than Maverick motors, but they are very powerful. Um, another cool thing about the controller is you flip a switch, you go into sport mode, this thing will actually fly pretty fast, upwards of 30 or higher miles per hour so it's no slouch i'm surprised as heavy as it is and little as it is how fast this can actually go um obviously in the initial setting it just designed to fly really smooth for your uh photography so you can't go wrong with that so let's set that to the side um uh, the controller comes like this let me put this sleeve back on uh it just says dji remote control for the spark make sure you get the one for the spark um, and the other one looks kind of similar, but they are different. There's your serial number, just your information about it. Bidjid.com, just that's pretty much it. Then a symbol there. You slide the sleeve. All this had clear plastic over both of them. Make sure you get a brand new one. Slide it up. Then you turn it to your side. You just simply pull this up. Pull the controller out now. I recommend keeping these inserts. They'll keep your sticks from getting damaged. Um, so you just simply slide this out. Kind of move things over, slide the other one off. And here is your remote. This is actually a really, really nice controller. I love this. Now real quickly, um, here is your remote control. The C2, it tells you everything you need to know about it. What function does what. Uh, it tells you the binding process. I'll tell you the binding process. That's not bad at all. Uh, when you're... I do believe... Now, it's been a couple of days since I've done this, actually. Because I did bind this, and I did test everything on it. Uh, I think you just simply uh, hold this for two seconds. It starts flashing or something like that. The lights start flashing on it. You simply hold, turn this on. You hold, I think, this one, this one, and this one. And it starts making a beeping noise like it's trying to connect. Then it goes solid when it's bound. And then this goes back into the normal uh, green and red. Um, I'll be more specific, obviously, in initial setups and how to set up, set all your settings correctly and everything. So obviously, I'm going to be more specific in that. Um, just a quick thing on the antennas. This is one of the most important things. Simply just turn one this way, all the way, straight up and down, and turn the other one straight up and down. That is the best way um, to use the antennas. Uh, you want them straight like this, straight. You don't want them crisscrossed. You don't want them angled out like that. You just want them straight like this. Uh, one way to remember which one goes which way is they fold up like this. Just simply turn it and simply turn it. Make sure they're straight and then flat up against there just like that. That is how you want your antennas. Um, obviously, you want to face this towards the drone like so. The drone's here. You want to face it towards it. And as simple as that. Uh, these are pretty cool. They swing out. Swing them all the way out first. Oops, I just accidentally checked the battery. You hit it one time without holding it afterwards. It won't turn on. So you have to click it. shows you battery life. And then press it in and hold for a few for a couple seconds. And then it'll turn on, which is very simple. Uh, this will fit pretty big phones. Now I have 
Sorry, my iPhone's actually on the stand right now doing a video. My iPhone fits perfectly. I don't see it being an issue fitting an um, iPhone Plus as well. Uh, they do make a bracket for this where you can use huge tablets, which is really, really nice. It's an adapter for it. You can order that off of Amazon and many other retailers sell them. Uh, they're just all kinds of sunshade. There's just so much for this controller. Your phone goes into here. Um, just a quick look at the buttons. You obviously, I always fly in mode two. So this is always your throttle. It is altitude hold, obviously, due to GPS and all the cool sensors it has. Um, this is your pitch and then your roll, just like any other drone. Right here is obviously your power button. This is a function button. You can program this to be many things. It can be um, quick to map or something like that or GPS or something, whatever you want to set it up as. It'll give you the options when you're setting it up. I'll show you that. And then this button right here, you can also set it up. It can be your camera going from being straight all the way down, whatever you want. Um, this is your sport mode, just a simple switch. Gives you the really, really high speed, which is amazing. Now your pause button is really nice to have. Say you're flying or something, and you drop something, you need to look for something, or you need to get something out. You hit pause, even if you're flying forward, it'll just stop. It'll put on the brakes, stop, and hold its position, and it won't move. That is amazing. Say you're flying, and something's going on, you get distracted, you pause it, and you can take your eyes off of it for a minute, and knowing that it's not going to move. That is amazing. I do like that. And then obviously your uh, land, home, or come home button. You hit that. I do believe you. I hit it once and didn't do it. I had to kind of hold it for a second. I don't know if I did that correctly. I look into it, obviously, and give you guys more details on the buttons. Um, on the back of it, you have your photo button. You'll hear it like you took a photo. And then your record button. And then obviously for your gimbal, um, you just turn this wheel, and it's simply... Um, uh, it'll move the gimbal now you can set now it is kind of proportional like you slightly hit it and then it'll move kind of slower um, You can adjust the speed in a setting which I'll show you guys to control that as well uh, Looks like it has a couple holes for vents there. There is your uh, Wi-Fi code or what the product is RC whatever um, and then your password it's typically one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, change that later after you set it up if you want to. This is the model GL100A. Uh, it does have a rechargeable battery, so make sure you recharge this. Um, you simply charge it with the same wire you charge your drone with. Use a good wire. I would use the wire they give you. Um, just another thing to let you guys know is uh, this wire and this adapter just the adapter I bought separately, but use this wire. Try to use another cheaper wire and it did not work when I try to combine, uh, connect my controller. So just to give you guys a quick idea, um, you always turn your drone on first. You connect your phone, uh, turn your drone on, turn your controller on. Once you set it up and you've bound it before, it'll bind quickly. Uh, enter your app, make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi with your phone to the drone. Um, then once you do all that, you want to plug this wire into the controller and then into your phone. So basically, this is more of a fail-safe. Um, sometimes it likes to drop. Hi, buddy. Oh, kissies. I know I love you, too. You're my buddy. He's such a good little dog. I love him. Here, here's your blankie. Up, up, up. There you go. There was stuff in his way. He didn't like that. So um, this, sorry, I got a little side distracted with the cuteness. Um, by plugging these wires up into your phone and using this, it happens to somehow disconnect, um, you know, your controller from your phone or uh, vice versa, or you, your phone drops it from, uh, you know, the signal or something, and uh, it'll still leave post all your information because you're using the controller to talk to the drone and then this will have much further range than your uh, phone will so by plugging this up it'll, it'll always show you the information on the screen and keep it current it's been known to drop signals for just flying from your phone so this wire makes a huge difference i would absolutely recommend one i did see one on amazon afterwards for like 
eight or nine bucks that was really, really short, so you didn't have a bunch of wires hanging. It was black, so it matched. Um, and it was the micro to lightning or whatever one you need. So make sure you get the right one for your particular phone. I know you can actually, I have a phone in there that I can actually could use. It's called a K20. It's a cheap uh, Metro PCS phone. Uh, you don't have to have service on the phone. As long as it, it can use Wi-Fi. So you just simply connect to this Wi-Fi, uh, download the app while you're at home on your Wi-Fi, update it, put it in here, and just keep it with your controller, you know? And you don't care if you drop it or, you know, you don't need it. You know, you can still do things on your phone and still have your phone working, doing something differently. So that's a really, really nice idea. Um, so that would be pretty cool to do. Um, so this simply folds up. The battery, I've heard the battery lasts a long time on the controller. I mean, you'll get a ton of flights. They say just charge it every once in a while just to kind of make sure you keep juice on it. Um, just really heavy, fits really well. And these are kind of cool. When they used to fold out, they kind of help situate your palms. It's just, uh, they're grooved. Uh, and the way they're shaped, you can use pinchers and these grooves. Give your thumb really good grips to fly. Um, just overall an amazing controller. I'm really excited about this product. I know a few people had it. I know it came out in, um, what was it, like May or June or something in 2017. So it's a little over a year old. Uh, and I think it's still an absolute great product. I, I think it's amazing. Um, I did one quick flight. Uh, we also shot some pictures for our uh, Ankh and Nephi aerial photography. That is the name. Uh, if you want to look me up on Instagram, uh, I'll follow you back. You know, I'm real nice. Just whatever you post, whatever you're doing. I try to keep it family friendly. Um, Cause a lot of my, and then you know anyone that watches or views my channel might want to get on yours. So just keep that in mind. Um, I try to stay family friendly. Um, so I have a shirt already made. I should, might show you the guys. Can you bring me the shirt, sweetheart? So basically. Um, she did this for me and made the shirt for me. Um, what else? And uh, just a quick, just a quick, a uh, little bit about it. I flew this the first time. Once everything was set up, my firmware was updated. Everything, do everything. To mess with all your settings. Learn all your settings. Learn where everything is before you even think about flying this. Just because it's so much money, you don't want to wreck it or lose it. You know. So basically. I did all that, updated everything, did everything, charged it up properly, went out to a field, set on top of the box, took off easily, held perfectly, um, just flew them perfectly, smooth, everything worked exactly as advertised. I couldn't really figure out the hand gestures. I don't know if you have to use the phone only or what. Um, hand gestures, the follow me, I don't know if it has, I think it has follow me, I'm not sure. I keep saying it has follow me, I think it does. And a couple other things I did not do yet or select waypoints. I don't know if it can do that. Pretty sure it can. I would imagine it would be able to. Because that's GPS. Um, I don't see it not having any that function. Um, I didn't play with those, but I did fly around and kind of mess with the camera. And I could get really, really smooth footage with this. It is 1080p. I know some people um, upscale it to 4K. It's a lot of production, a lot of editing. I wish my editing was there, but it's simply not. I'm just going to speak the truth. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, that's pretty much it. So I think everything I got for that price to me was a really good deal. Um, since I did save 50 bucks on a drone and I got a $119 controller, I went on Amazon. I found a battery for $44 with two-day 